really nice right here, Tom. Number one just went off. She wants to go so bad, doesn't she? This could get exciting very shortly. Oh, action! I'm Sean Casey, a documentary filmmaker. We are currently in Skagway, Alaska, and we are about to motor 200 miles to the middle of the Alaskan wilderness to get the opening shot to my new large format film, Extreme Weather. Uh, you can't plan for everything. That's the bottom line. You can't plan for how wet it's gonna be, where your campsite's gonna be, what the situation is gonna be. You bring everything you think you're gonna need there's always going to be stuff that happens that you can't control and it's about how you deal with that it's how you deal with situations like that how you rebuild and how you forge on it's all about adaptation when you're doing this kind of filmmaking you know this isn't filmmaking where you've got you know a food truck where you've got support where you can call for anything you need this is kind of like remote adventure filmmaking and whatever you bring is what you have this is how it's always been up here, just raw and beautiful. But in that rawness, things can happen quickly. Weather conditions are constantly changing. There's a multitude of things that can go wrong out here. But you have to push through these things because this project is important. It's about our weather and how it's changing, becoming more extreme. And we filmed massive dust storms and the droughts in the Western United States. Tornadoes in the Midwest. The wildfires of California and the heroics of firefighters trying to control them. It's all about powerful images for this format. So if we could get a glacier calving directly at us, uh, that would be incredible. So I'm, I'm feeling that that's going to go. The only issue is it's that area that's going to calve. There's another jump. Yeah, it's going. It's going to go before we get there. It's going. There it goes. I want to be as close as we can, but there is a very real danger of being hit what could be car-sized chunks of ice flying hundreds of feet from the glacier. It's thrilling, yet it is nerve-wracking. So it's 1 to 10 on the glacier so we can reference if someone sees something happening. Right now, 7 right there. Chunks of ice are falling off on each side, so this could be a, uh, this could be a vent soon. 